Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since the last time I uploaded. And I think I checked, I think it was six months ago. Was it six months ago, mama? She wouldn't be in the camera. I don't know if you guys would be able to see her, but she's in her seat. But it was six months ago, I believe so. It was the day in my life as a stay-at-home mom. She is six months. She's supposed to be seven months, so sorry it took so long. And I promise you guys so many videos. And I promise you it's in my notes. And I'm gonna start filming. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Marquia do it. Everybody's quarantined. You ain't got nothing else to do. But anyway, so as you guys can tell by the video, the title of the video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I stop my postpartum hair loss. And when I tell you guys, <laughs> that's like one of the reasons why I stopped filming because my hair started like falling out really bad when she was, let's see, it started in February. So she was four months. She was four months and my hair started falling off really bad. And it was just like coming out. Like if I touch it, it was just like hair. Touch hair. What's wrong? You want to be in the camera? Yeah, so since she's not sitting there, let me sit there. So when I touch my hair, like I could just simply touch it, a hair would come out. And then like you couldn't tell at first that my hair was falling out unless you was with me and knew my hair was coming out from combing it and stuff. But then after that, like a month later, my edges, you can see like my edges start coming out and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I knew I was going to get postpartum hair loss. I just knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Because the whole time I was pregnant, my hair grew so much. When I was pregnant, I was like, up, oh, it's all going to be gone. It's all going to be gone. <laughs> Which I guess I kind of like jinxed myself. You know, I shouldn't have said that. But, um, yeah, so I looked it up of how to stop it, how to, you know, keep your hair healthy. And everything that I read in all the, my, the mama groups I'm in, they all was like, you can't stop it. You know, it's going to stop on its own in a year, pretty much when your baby is a year old. <laughs> and what's wrong? What's wrong? Pretty much when your baby's a year old. And I was like, heck no, she's only like three months. I'm four months. I'm not, I'm not waiting that long. So I was like, let me do something. Let me try to do this on my own. And I did not find this anywhere online no videos no nothing so i was like let me film a video for you guys and this is okay hold on y'all i think she's hungry okay i'm back kind of forgot where i left off at but pretty much i looked everywhere and couldn't find how to stop postpartum hair loss couldn't find any videos nothing like that everything was just telling me that you pretty much gotta wait it out because it's basically your pregnancy hormones leaving your body and sometimes when it leaves your body it takes stuff with you takes stuff with it including it could be your hair your nails your teeth your uh skin all that type of stuff so the only problem i had was my hair so i was like you know what i'm not about to have that i'm not about to be like okay i gotta wait a year no i i i'm not that type of person i try to do stuff to figure it out so let me tell you guys let me just let me disclaimer i'm not a cosmetologist i'm not a licensed cosmetologist or none of that but i did take cosmetology in high school for two years so i know a little bit and then by me being natural for almost 10 years probably longer than that i don't know i know a little bit i know a lot about my hair so i'm gonna tell you guys what worked for my hair and you guys can try it and if you try it let me know in the comments below if it worked for you. If it did, yes, y'all, we got something going. But <laughs> if you did anything different that helped you, uh, your hair loss, postpartum hair loss, let me know in the comments below also. 
but like I said this is just what worked for me so if I have any pictures I will post them I don't know if I can find any because like I said I was like in the beginning stages I did not I I did not want to take no pictures I did. but if you go to the Mars family channel which is our family channel then you can see in our house in our house hunting series that's when it like start happening you can see like my edges like start thinning out so go check that out but in the beginning I had my hair flat ironed so I had a flat iron because I took my 30th birthday pictures and I was like man I don't want to wash my hair because like I said when I touched my hair it would just like come out like with like no force it'll come out so I was like I don't want to wash my hair so what I did was I went to the store and I bought some dry shampoo and this is the dry shampoo that I bought I bought Suave Professionals Salon Proven Dry Shampoo for all types of hairs. And the first time I'm using ever use dry shampoo, and I must say I really, really like it. Never tried any other ones, so I can't compare. But instead of washing my hair, I was using this for like a few weeks because I learned the more you touch your hair, the more you aggravate your hair, which will make your hair fall out even more. So I was like, I don't want to wash it for a while. So after that, like the hair coming out, start calming down just a tiny bit, I uh, wash my hair. And this is what I use. I gotta buy some more. So I use the Shea Moisture Coconut and, can't say this word, so I'm gonna just let y'all read it. Curl and Shine Shampoo with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. This is the shampoo I used, and the conditioner I used was Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. That's the conditioner I used. So I washed my hair finally, you guys, and when I tell you, baby, when I tell you, a lot of hair came out when I washed it. I was like, uh, why me? But, you know, not just me. There's a lot of people that had babies that this happened to. But it was just, I was just shocked. Like, shocked. So I washed my hair with that. And then when I got out the shower, I used the leave-in conditioner of the conditioner, which is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave and Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. So when I got out the shower, I like pat dropped my hair with a towel. And um, I put this all over my hair. All over my hair. So of course I wanted to like style my hair, look cute, but I didn't want to aggravate it too much. So I use a paddle brush to get the knots out. I always, I always use a paddle brush. Combs, it's like too rough on your hair. Hey. You got a jacket. Combs is too rough on your hair. It like pulls in, well to me. I Like I said, I'm not licensed cosmetology, so don't come for me in the comments, you guys. But what I learned is combs is too rough on your hair. It's like easier to use a paddle brush so I always use a pad of brush them. Got out the shower, started at the bottom to get the knots out. And of course, it was a lot of hair. And then I put my leave-in conditioner in it. And then after that, because I wanted my curls to pop, you know, natural. Wanted my curls to pop. Didn't want to put no heat on there. So I tried Miss Jessie's Honey Curls. focus it's focusing on Athena there you go and I wanted to try the soft pillow curls but every time I go to Target they don't have it but I tried this one and let me tell you guys it smells really good but it did make my hair crunchy I don't like the crunchiness so I had to like keep going like trying to figure out how to not make it crunchy and eventually it's not making my hair crunchy anymore so I'm gonna just say that's like a preference. That's not part of the video. Like what you need, you don't need that. 
what you need is a Shea Moisture Shampoo and a Shea Moisture Conditioner and a Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. Because this is the trick. This is what made my hair grow back and this is what made my hair stop falling out. Is the Leave-In Conditioner. You guys, I put this Leave-In Conditioner in my hair every single day. Every single day. And I still put it in my hair every single day. As you guys can see, I'm almost out. <laughs> I'm almost out and I need to get some more. But leave-in conditioner is what you need in your hair every single day. Put it in your hair every day. And another thing you need to do is do not aggravate your hair every day. I get it if you got to work every day or if you got things to do outside of the house, if you need to do your hair, try to put your hair in a style where you don't have to touch it every day. But I would not do braids. I would not do braids because when your hair sit in braids, the dead hair comes out and your hair is already falling out. So you don't, I would stay away from protective hairstyles. I, that's just me. Stay away from it if you want it to stop falling out. So I put a leave-in conditioner every day and I did not mess with my hair every day. So I'll put it up in a ponytail. Then the next day, I will put the leave-in conditioner in there and put it back in a ponytail. But when I put it in the ponytail every day, I was not combing it out every day. I wasn't doing none of that. Like I was just like, leave it be, let it, let the moisture like suck in, let all this good stuff help my hair grow and um, just fix my hair. And when I tell you guys it worked, it worked. Look at look at these edges, y'all. It don't even look like I lost my hair a few months ago. At all. Like, y'all. What? Okay, sorry you guys. The camera had cut off. Apparently it was overheating. I don't know. But anyways. So... I feel like this video is all over the place because I already stopped like twice. I'm sorry. So let's just, let's do the orders. One, try not to irritate your hair. If you got to use dry shampoo for a while, use that. Two, finally wash your hair, but wash your hair with some good stuff. If you cannot afford a shade moisture, get some stuff that can repair your hair that got good stuff in it. Or if you know how to make homemade shampoo conditioner, do you boo-boo, that's good because I don't. <laughs> Put that in your hair. Um, three, leave-in conditioner is your bestie. That's your best friend. Put it in your hair every single day. I'm telling you, just do it. It will work. Put it in your hair every single day. Four, do not mess with your hair every day. Don't style it every day. Leave it with one style. But put that moisture in it and put it right back up to that style. But don't comb it, brush it, part it, straighten it every day. Now, five, no heat. Keep the heat off your hair. Heat breaks your hair. You guys, I barely straighten my hair. Like, I straighten my hair probably once a year, once or twice a year. Keep the heat off your hair, you guys. Six. No protective styles, no boo-boo, no protective styles. Do not put your hair in any braids. And seven, I did not say this in the beginning because I forgot. But no headbands. Your girl was rocking these every day when my hair first started falling out. Then I was like, what are you doing, girl? Your hair cannot breathe. Like, and it's patting it, it's holding it in. No headbands. So, I really did not want this video to be too long, but it's long. I'm sorry. Um, but I hope these tips work for you guys because, like I said, it worked for me. And if I can find any pictures, I will post them on here. But, like I said, go to the Mars Film channel and look at our house hunting series and you will see where my hair started thinning out. Or go to my Instagram. I think I have some pictures on my Instagram. I don't know but you'll see it on there and do not feel down don't feel sad depressed 
if your hair is falling out due to postpartum because we have to realize that we made beautiful babies ladies beautiful babies and our body went through a lot when we had these babies and when we was pregnant with these babies so your body is going to change a lot of stuff is going to change and just remember you are beautiful no matter what no matter what nobody say you are beautiful because you made a beautiful baby but love yourself you guys and <laughs> take care of yourselves don't hide the real you because I was doing it at first when my hair was falling out and I was like you know what everybody know I just had a baby and everybody know postpartum hair loss exists so I'm gonna do me so do you be happy love yourself love your body and um it'll get better I promise <laughs> so <laughs> um make sure you guys like comment subscribe and share the video especially if you like these tips and make sure you hit that bell so you be notified when i upload because i will be uploading more because you guys we are quarantined and i don't have nothing else to do but subscribe to our family channel also the mars film because we are redoing the apartment yay so it's gonna be like part one two three four five i don't know how many parts but there's a lot of parts that you guys cannot miss right and you cannot miss this beautiful baby girl and also if you guys are wondering marikia you had your baby but where's your labor and delivery vlog that is also on the family channel and also the baby mama dance is on the family channel so make sure you guys go check that out but i will be doing a birth story on this channel which i told you guys i was gonna do a while ago but i have not did it yet but i promise i will i will i will i will and i don't think i introduced you guys to her on this channel but on a family channel i have this is athena my baby girl athena eleanor sally and she is six months she will be seven months in a few days she is a tiny baby you guys she is not your normal size baby she is still in three to six months clothes she just started wearing three to six months clothes she finally hits uh, 15 pounds <laughs> but she is a tiny baby she's gonna be mommy's little petite baby um but i will tell you guys more about her and everything just make sure you guys subscribe and hit that subscribe button and that like button but anyways i'm talking too much so i'll talk to y'all later bye <laughs> athena say bye say bye say woo.